We're here out near Chamberlain, South Dakota with Steve Reimer, farmer over here and rancher. And uh, this is the second time I'm talking to you, Steve, um, and, and it's really good to be out here. Well, it's good to have you back. Uh, we've had a kind of a rough summer, some drought, a lot of moisture here lately, and uh, things have greened up. It's, it's looking a lot better going into fall. Well, that's, that sounds good. It's, this is also a, a land of extremes, and you've just mentioned we've had a rough summer. Um, what kind of extremes in this part of the world are you encountering uh, on a fairly regular basis? Well, I, we go from, I mean, this is a semi-arid climate, and uh, it is not unusual for us. Uh, I mean, every roughly 10 years, we have a severe drought and we'll have some high temperatures. And during the winter months, we can have some really cold stretches and, and glow uh, below zero for quite a while. So there's a lot of variation in, in temperature, a lot of variation in, in moisture. Uh, we've had some years when we've had uh, substantially over our, our average rainfall. And then this past summer, we basically went for three months with no moisture at all. Okay. Yeah. Well, tell us about y your system. How do you run your operation to deal with some of these extremes, knowing that they're going to happen? Not only do we uh, raise corn, wheat, and beans, we have a purebred cattle operation, and we have a, uh, a production sale every year selling bulls and females. And this is Simmental? Simmental. Okay. Yep, Simmental and Simmental Angus. Okay. We will graze early season grasses okay. earlier in the spring and then the warm season grasses uh, during the summertime. And uh, then we go in and start utilizing uh, some aftermath grazing and uh, uh, some cover crop uh, grazing on into the fall and, and maybe even into the winter months. Okay. I think we put the whole uh, picture together by utilizing... Uh, uh, no-till farming uh, by by use, utilizing cover crops, uh, running cattle back on those cover crops after they're rotated through our our pasture systems, and uh, I think it all works hand in hand. We have run uh, as many as uh, 80 pair out on a field of cover crop. That cover crop was actually growing while those pairs were. We're out on it. We uh, we turned them out, and okay. they did a they did a great job of grazing. <laughs>